Hello everyone, this is Taryn with Wonderfully Made Handcrafting and welcome to day four of By the Well for Gods, Equipped by Jesus. Now on day two, I used alcohol inks to dye some embossed metal and that really got me thinking that I wanted to invest more time in playing with alcohol inks and so today was the day. So I took out some Yupo paper and some colors that I thought kind of went along with the kit. I used monsoon, which is a really nice, almost slate blue. And then I used oregano, which is a natural green color. My favorite mushroom, I couldn't leave out. And then I also, at the end, used a mixative of gold. Now, I do have a slight problem. This is probably, I can count on one hand, how many times I've played with alcohol ink on Yupo paper. I love alcohol ink, but um, Yupo paper is so expensive that I fail to kind of play around with it, and I'm really missing out. So I think that I'm just gonna start using it, because um, if you have it, you should use it. So that is what I'm planning on doing. So as is, I'm not the best alcohol ink artist, so this is just, you know, me playing around, um, but it is still fun no matter what. Sometimes alcohol inks can seem a little scary because, you know, you're just piling on color after color and you just don't know when to stop. And sometimes you go too far, um, you feel like, but if you just keep on working it, I feel like most of the time you get a pretty um, good paper in the end. And even if you don't, it's still fun trying. Um, and you can always add and um, blend out with the alcohol blending solution. Um, so it's just fun to play. So if you have some at home, definitely get some out and play with it. Um, and also remember that when you use it, usually you're only using a little portion of this. For my own pocket card for today, I'm only using a small portion of this card. Um, so you can always pick, quote unquote, the best spot to use. I had put down some gold mixative and there was a big chunk in the middle that I didn't like so I am breaking it up a little bit with some of that blue. And then to finish this whole page off, I am using a little bit of rubbing alcohol in my splatter brush. I will dip it in there and just add some droplets. This is my all time favorite part. It just adds like this magical feel. So now I want to make sure that I pick the perfect spot for my pocket card. I've already um, typed up everything on the back side. And so I'm picking the spot that I like most out of this whole card. I will save the rest of it because like I said, Yupo paper is too expensive to discard afterwards. So that will definitely come in handy at a later date. Now I definitely want to add something extra to this card, but I don't want to take away from the background. I'm having a little bit of trouble, so I go to my Dymo label maker and spell out righteousness. Um, and I did try to make a floral in gold embossing with that stamp set, but I just didn't like the look of it. You can see it right there on the side. Um, I also tried any of the ephemera. Um, but nothing really kind of seemed to click for me. So this is where I decide to go in a totally different direction. Now I've used texture paste before and added embossing glaze on top of it, um, but I never actually thought about using regular embossing powder. And my friend Crystal used it the other day on her Bible cover. And I was so in love with the look of it that I definitely wanted to use that as well. Um, but before I added any of the texture paste, I wanted to make sure to have the back done. So I added my four from the words in action six by eight stamp set and then I flipped it on over to the front again and what I did is cut up that righteousness that I spelled out. Um, I just cut it up into three different parts so it was not taking the whole side um, but it was more so just taking the bottom right hand corner and then I'm going to work on using this stencil. Now actually putting this texture paste through the stencil proved to be a little bit tricky on Yupo paper. The texture paste didn't grip the Yupo paper like it usually does on regular paper. It just kept sliding off and so I kept on having to slather more layers on and make sure that when I was rubbing it on that it wasn't taking it off in a different area. So definitely tricky but it did end up working. I'm trying to make sure that I only get that one little shield area. Um, however, since it is Yubo paper, which is a plastic paper, it does slide right on off as long as it's wet. So there was a couple places on here once I pulled it off that I did just wipe off and they wiped off very clean. 
So now I'm going to add my gold embossing powder on top of my texture paste. And I did wait for it to dry for 15 to 20 minutes before I heat set that embossing powder on top. Unfortunately, I didn't get that on video. Something happened with my camera. Um, so I will show you the end result right here. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me over on Instagram at Wonderfully Made Handcrafting. I'll link everything I used down below. And if you missed day two's process video where I used alcohol inks on embossed metal, I'll link that one next. I hope you have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.